Yeah, I think that's right. First of all, uh, we have, you know, the 10 year bond was coming down to almost 230. So we had a lot of support from the bond market. You had a stronger dollar. Uh, <clears throat> you had very good earnings that were coming out. The earnings were good to very good coming out in the last week or so. Uh, so you have an earnings picture that's good, an interest rate picture that's good, a currency picture that's good, a flight to quality issue uh, for the U.S. away from uh, a lot of these other riskier areas of the world. Uh, and so all together it paints a, a pretty good picture for that. And we have a very benign Fed. Uh, so those are five reasons why the equity market continues to move. I personally think that the Ukrainian issue is uh, simply uh, mostly noise. I think the issue in Iraq is more important. Um, the growing consensus over the last several days on ISIS is that um, uh, uh, Kurdish forces have failed to push them back. Uh, national Iraqi forces have failed to push them back. And so this is becoming a, more, uh, a much more worrying issue uh, at the moment than anything else. Who's going to be able to push back ISIS uh, if the government can't do it, if the Kurdish army can't do it? Uh, who's going to do this? And so this, I think, is part of the reason why the U.S. Air Force is now intervening. Well, I, as I was on your show uh, last time I was here, I talked about, you know, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, the, the credit cycle is still very much in their favor. Uh, those banks keep on hitting um, highs uh, for the year. Um, so those are continue to be my favorites. Um, you know, I, I talked about I was very bullish on Japan last time I was here. We had a bit of a setback on Friday, but I still think the Japan trade is is uh, is on. And I, I just think right now that in the, the China trade is interesting because it's it, it's such a laggard market. Uh, you know, these are some of the cheapest, uh, you know, companies in the world. And I did a very exhaustive credit check of the entire corporate sector for China. And, and while there is a, a, a significant pocket of problematic companies, mostly in the utility sector, by the way, and also to a lesser extent property, the Chinese corporate credit market is actually in pretty good shape. So this is one of the cheapest equity markets in the world, and I think people are going to start to push money into the, uh, into the area of China.